today's video is going to be my July wrap up. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I only read a few things this month. <laughs> I have a lot of moving things going on, so I wasn't able to get to my entire TBR, but I did want to go over the books that I did read with you guys and let you know what I thought of them. Um, overall, a fantastic month as far as ratings go. The first thing I read was Devil's Wake by Stephen Barnes and Tanana Reeve Dew. This is a horror novel, and on the front it says, an infection is spreading with lightning speed, tearing apart families, destroying civilization as we understand it. It is a adult novel, but it is written from the perspective of several teens who were going to a delinquent camp for kids who have had issues in the past. And so they were going to this camp to, you know, improve upon themselves and the apocalypse happened. So they end up banding together and they meet this young girl and they end up traveling together and they have a lot of tragedy happen and a lot of good and bad things happen. But overall, um, I really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars. I think that if you're looking for a black written story that is also a horror novel on voices, um, very unique take on a traditional story um, with zombies. And it's also very um, similar at the beginning to how um, the Rona happened. So if that bothers you, you know, maybe wait a little while on this one. It's definitely older and there are a few things in this that I think um, would not be as acceptable today as they were when this was written. But overall, it's very well well written. It's easy to understand. I did a full vlog review on this. I'll link it in the cards and in the description if you want to watch that. Um, I go way into more detail and I describe it as I'm reading it. I tried not to spoil too much, but it does have a little bit of spoilery stuff in it. So if you're interested in reading this one, I do recommend it. I do need to buy a new copy though, because this one was not in good condition. And I do want to read the sequel, so I'm going to buy those together soon. So I'll have those in my collection because I do enjoy them. But yeah, if you're interested in a horror story, I recommend it. The usual horror triggers are in this one, I think. Murder, death, zombie, eating people. Um, the tiniest amount of animal abuse, if you even count that. Loss of parents, loss of friends, guns, etc. Stuff like that. Um, so just be prepared for that if that's something that you are sensitive to. Um, but I do recommend. The next book I read this month is a adult manga and I've never reviewed something like this on my channel so just bear with me. I'm trying to keep it kind of all ages here but I did want to tell you that I read it. It is called Fire in His Fingertips, a fiery a flirty fireman ravishes me with his smoldering gaze. Um, it's by Kawano Tanishi. This is a story that I saw based on a um, recommendation reading readathon book club thing. <laughs> I forget what they called it. I think it's just a book club um, that Shay Geeks Out, Mama Loves Manga, and Pages and Panels did. I'll be sure to link that episode in the description if you want to watch it. It made me want to pick this up. They just discussed it and the things that are in it. And they go into a lot of detail. So please, please, please watch that if you're interested in this. I'm just going to give a really quick review on it. Um, I gave it five stars. Loved it. It is not for kids. Mature, mature, mature. It is beautifully done, though. I like the writing. I like the art a lot. I think the characters are cute. And I can't wait to see where it goes. There are a couple of things with consent in this. So if you have problems with consent when you're reading, um, it, is a little, it is a little blurry. So just be aware of that when picking this up. The next book I read this month is also another manga. I read mostly manga this month. It is the ninth volume of the Viz Big Edition Omnibus of Inuyasha. It is Rumiko Takahashi story and art by her. This is one of my, my favorite mangaka, absolutely, as of this point. And I just really love the story. It's feudal Japan, demons, monsters, samurais, fighting and just that era is my favorite to read about in manga. I got it on sale on right stuff do recommend and I gave it five stars easily this puts me I don't remember what volume this puts me at but there's three per issue so math um but I do love it at this point we're with the brother the band of seven some of them are brothers and they are fighting and it's starting to actually get to the story story of the story and not just building into meeting all the characters and what people can do and like that kind of thing. This is more of getting to the actual plot of the story. So it took a little while, but we're getting there. I really, really enjoyed it. I do recommend this series if you're interested and I can't wait to finally finish it. Like I'm so excited that I'm reading this. The last thing that I read this month was another omnibus. This is XXXholic or Holic or Triple X Holic or 
whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm not sure what they officially call this, but it is by Clamp. They are a group of people who write manga together. And I have seen maybe the first episode of this series as far as anime goes, but I'd never read it before. So I really, really enjoyed this. I gave it four stars. I think that if you're looking for something that is typical clamp, like pulling things from other series into their stories, this is good. There's some Subasa spoilers. There's a little bit of um, Carcaptor Sakura in here, but I don't know if I ever want to read Carcaptor Sakura. It doesn't sound like something I would enjoy. Um, we'll see though. I, I really like Chobits though, and I might pick up the omnibuses for Subasa just to see if I still like it as much as I did way back in the day because I watched like the first season of it. And I enjoyed it back then, and I like the tie-ins to that in this. But it's about our main character here, Watanuki. He's a young man who sees spirits, and he's troubled by them, and he doesn't like that he sees spirits and can talk to them and stuff. And this time witch, or whatever she likes to call herself, I'm not sure, who can grant wishes and has like a curio shop where she sells like items that she's collected from people because to get a wish granted by her you have to trade something of value to you or something very precious or your most valued item or valued anything honestly and she has all these things that she sells or gives to people who need them so it's just all about them and the hijinks they go through and it's very dark there's a lot of death in this but it's not super gruesome. It's just people who come to her shop and they need something. She gives it to them and then they create their own destruction. So I don't really know if she's a good guy or a bad guy in this. It honestly feels like she's a bad guy. She gets a lot of people killed, but also she has a lot of like wisdom that she spouts out to them because she's probably really old if I can remember. I don't know. But um, it's just like teaching these people lessons and most of them don't learn the lesson. But for Watanuki to get his wish granted, he has to pay her a lot of things and he's working to pay that debt off. So that's what this is about. I can't wait to continue it. I gave it four stars. Do recommend so far. But yeah, guys, that's it for my July wrap up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up in this video. It lets me know that you like these. And if you like my channel, you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe. I am excited to put out all kinds of new content. I try to upload at least once a week here and let you guys know what I'm reading and what I'm up to. I do a lot of reading vlogs and such, 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 such. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.